here the robot is the agent so here only thing you have to remember is everything based on reward and penalty classified into two types of task categorized into two types of learning then these are all some list of algorithm please click on subscribe button and don't forget to tap the bell symbol to get notified about new videos thank you hello everyone welcome to Vinod Ratinam tutorials in machine learning we have three types of learning process supervised learning and supervised learning and reinforcement learning in this video we are going to learn about reinforcement learning using examples like chess and mario games in my previous video i have already explained about both the supervised and the unsupervised learning if you are new to this ai tutorials please glance both these videos then I have mentioned the time for each topic in the video comment. If you want, you can directly watch that particular topic. First, let me tell an example. Then it will be easy to understand the reinforcement learning process. Just imagine you want to teach chess game to a kid. How you will teach? First, we will tell what is the importance of each pieces like bishop, rook, queen and king. Then what is the weightage or points for each piece and also how to move it. Finally, very important to teach them do's and don'ts of the game. Now, in order to win a game, the kid has to play many number of steps. So creating the knowledge base for this purpose can be really a complicated task. So the only way is the kid has to learn by himself or herself by playing many number of games. Definitely the kid is not going to win in starting stage. Whenever the kid loses the game, we will motivate them to play another game. But at one point of time, definitely the kid will win a game. So we will reward them with chocolates and gifts. The exact same logic we will use it for reinforcement learning. The reinforcement learning process using the chess game. In this example, we are making the Iron Man suit to play chess game with some world champion. Here the robot is the agent. The robot know the basics and it's starting the game by selection of algorithm, which we say it as game type, either offense or a defense game. Offense game means robot will be the first person to hit the opponent. Defense game means the robot will wait for the opponent to attack. Based on that, the robot will plan the game. After selecting the algorithm, the robot will start moving the pieces in the environment from one state to the another state. Here, the environment is nothing but the game area and the state is the number of steps robot played. Initially step 0, then 1, 2, 3, the process keeps on repeating. You can see it like a circle process. During this game, whenever the robot wins the opponent piece, it will get the reward point, a positive value. For example, plus 10 points. Then whenever it loses its own pieces, it will get a penalty, a negative value. That example, minus 10. And these values will be keep on accumulating. At the end, the robot lost the game to the world champion. Now, the robot will add all the knowledge that is the moves it made to the algorithms. When it plays second time, it won't repeat the same mistake. Like this, it will play many number of games and makes the algorithm to think like a human and surely at one point of time the robot will defeat the world champion. This is called reinforcement learning process. One interesting fact about artificial intelligence, even though artificial intelligence was invented in 1950s, almost some 65 years ago, but the whole world believed on artificial intelligence in 1996. When the chess playing computer called a Deep Blue, which was developed by IBM, won the match against the world champion Gary Kasparov. And the game statistics like it played six games, but Deep Blue won one game against him and Kasparov won three games and rest two match became a draw. And in May 1997, out of six games, Deep Blue won two games and uh, three games became draw. And the final game, the Kasparov resigned after 19 moves. And this is the first time in his career he accepted the defeat. And right side you can see the image of a deep blue computer. This 
chess game that changed the artificial intelligence forever gave hope to all the scientists that mission also can think like a human being one funny fact about this is caspero accused ibm of cheating and demanded a rematch but the ibm refused and retired the deep blue those who don't know anything about chess for them this mario example definitely everyone played this game at least once in your life here mario is the agent it will select the game type like whether to score maximum points or is it enough to complete the level that we compare with the selection of algorithm then it start running in the mario game environment and this process keeps on continuing if the mario died during the game it will get penalty then it will play the match again if it reaches till the end of the game then it will be rewarded so that it will progress to the next level level 1 level 2 level 3 and this is a reinforcement learning process almost similar like our previous example so here only thing you have to remember is everything based on reward and penalty reward means positive value penalty means negative value and this is called the reinforcement learning process hope you got an idea about it now we will see the book definition reinforcement learning is a type of machine learning technique that enables an agent to learn in an interactive environment by trial and error using the feedback from its own action and experience now you can understand the importance or the meaning of all the bold letters like agent means robot interactive environment where we play using the trial and error method it will be keep on improving from the feedback with its action and experience the reinforcement learning can be classified into two types of task one is episodic task another one is continuous task in the episodic task it is having the starting point and also an ending point ending point we can say it as a terminal state example the once again the mario game where uh, episode begin at the launch and uh, when you are killed or when you reach at the end of the level that is an ending state and in continuous task this task will be continue forever it means there is no terminal state the agent has to learn how to to choose the best action and simultaneously interacts with the environment the best example is automated stock trading share markets where the agent keeps running until we decide to stop him the reinforcement learning can be categorized into two types of learning one is monte carlo approach another one is temporal difference learning in the monte carlo approach here it will collect the rewards at end of the episode then calculate the maximum expected future reward and uh, when we start a new game with the added knowledge the agent makes a better decision with each iteration it means in each iteration this knowledge going to add again and again in the temporal learning difference it will update its estimation in every step it won't wait till the game or the episode gets complete in every step like in case of chess step 1 step 2 step 3 for each step the estimation will happen another important terminology that is exploration or exploitation trade off apart from giving importance to the agent and the algorithm we have to give more importance to the environment we must analyze everything about the environment so that this will help us to maximize the rewards and we can avoid the penalty then these are all some list of important reinforcement learning algorithm like monte carlo then sarsa deep q network then ddpg based on your requirement you have to choose the proper algorithms That's the end of today's session in case of any clarification please mail me or you can directly ping me to my LinkedIn ID thanks for watching happy learning